Hi, what's up, guys? The other day I was reading a uh, an article on Life Hacker regarding how to create an ice cream sandwich themed desktop for Windows. I was pretty jealous because I have a Mac, so I decided to do it myself and share it with you. So, uh, the project files uh, will be in the description, and so let's begin with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you're going to be needing is a software called Geek Tool. For Snow Leopard, you can down just search Geek Tool in Google, go to the first website and download it. However, if you are running OS and Lion, you will have to go to the Mac App Store, search Geek Tool and download it from there. It's a free download, which I think is just 1.7 MB. Okay, the second thing you'll want to do is set your background to icsTheme.png. If you're wondering how to do that, let me just show it to you quickly. Go to Apple, System Preferences, Desktop and Screen Saver and have your picture uh, and select your picture and you're done. You have that. The first thing you're going to want to do now is unzip the project uh, files folder and install this font called Roboto Lite. All you do is just open it up and do install font. I already have it installed, so we're done with that. Okay. Uh, now, step by step, I'm going to take you through this process. So, let's set up the clock uh, first. So, we're going to open, and this will open in Geek Tool, and you'll have your watch there with the time according to what it is on your Mac. Day of week, open that as well. You have the day of the week, AM, PM, open that. You have that. So, that is probably the simplest part of the program. Yeah. Okay, the next thing we're going to be setting up are the song widgets. So for that, we're going to be opening song info.glet and song meter.glet. Okay, great. So, uh, an important notice. Uh, so as to have this uh, song info.glet that tells you the information about the song um, to have it open uh, it will automatically open iTunes okay now to set up the song meet uh, the song meter that uh, shows the progress of the current song uh, you're gonna wanna actually uh, you know you just click on the rectangle where uh, uh, the song meter uh, uh, and in the edit script uh, just remove whatever location is here by default and remember, uh, don't get rid of this apostrophe or whatever it is. And so, uh, I'm sorry. Whenever I click out of there, it just takes me out. I apologize for that. So, now wherever you have stored the song, song meter dot scpt files, uh, Apple script file, you're going to just drag that over. In here, yeah, uh, and paste it at within this apostrophe. Close it, save it, and play to check whether it's working. And obviously, as you can see, it is working, and it will show you the progress of the song. I'm sorry I was I got carried away with the song so okay now to set up the weather okay this is a bit of a complicated process so uh, in the, the first step what we're actually going to be doing uh, is opening uh, Google Chrome oh my god and what we're actually going to be doing is opening Google Chrome Open it up. Uh, Yahoo. Oh my God, Yahoo. Yahoo. Uh, search wherever your location is. Let's say I'm living in New York, which I am not. Still, New York weather. Search that. Click on the extended forecast and uh, 
uh, just copy the link above here yeah since we need that okay we're going to open up our projects folder which yep so open for me the wrong yep okay so we are going to open weather info dot g l e t and well you'll notice nothing new on your screen and you'll notice this new tiny new tiny rectangle you can place it anywhere on the screen but you do need this don't get rid of it or it won't work and within these quotes of the edit script of that same rectangle we are going to remove the link and paste and paste the link that you had just copied paste that and close it okay yes so now we are going to open weather image dot glt and as you can see it's instantaneously showing us the well the image of the weather and you're going to open weather description dot glt yes it says cloudy 37 degrees fahrenheit um and one thing that is quite irritating about this is by default it will be in uh one of the bang gothic or one of those fonts i mean yeah that is my fault so uh, you're going to change the font to robot or light and set the size to 30 pixels because that's what looks best okay so once that is set you are ready to go again uh, you will not receive this text here so we once again uh, need to edit some script here we're going to go back to yahoo to that page that we had open click on rss copy this link here uh, click on uh, this text field open it up in the edit script delete the link within your and paste the link that you just copied close that there yes and you're done so that was a quick tutorial on how to create an ice cream sandwich themed desktop let me show you how it looks and with some music playing this is how it will look and this looks quite cool i love it uh so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope it helped you and if it did, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Peace. Also, uh, if you have any tips regarding improving sound quality or anything else, uh, any request for videos, please let me know. If you have any request for videos, I'll try my best to fulfill that. So thanks a lot and see you.